Shalom and welcome to All the Colors of the Rainbow. Today we are going to do the last color of the rainbow and that is violet. There is no biblical Hebrew word that means violet, but there is a modern Hebrew word and that is segel or sometimes segol. segol. Um, you probably might recognize this root, which is uh, a name of the vowel. It's the vowel that you see here in the word segel, those three little dots. And then those three little dots are also called segel when they're used as a cantillation mark in the uh, text. And they are called segel, this vowel is called segel, because they resemble a little cluster of grapes, uh, going back to the idea of the color of the violet or the purple. Now this word doesn't appear in Tanakh, but there is a word that does appear that is from this root. And this is a word that is usually transferred, translated as a peculiar people or peculiar treasure, segula. Exodus 19.5. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Psalm 135.4. For Yahweh hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his segula, for his peculiar treasure. It's just one word there, even though the two words are used to translate it into English. In Deuteronomy 14.2, For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy God, and Yahweh hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. So here it is, Am Sigula, and it's translated as a peculiar people. In Malachi, we have a little bit different translation, chapter 3, verse 17. And they shall be mine, saith Yahweh of hosts. In that day, I will make up my jewels, and I will spare them, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. So the idea that this is something special, it's a treasure, it's like a jewel, and going back to the grapes that it's attached to, a purple color. In order to get a little deeper insight, we're going to go to a cognate word, which uh, trades the resh for the lamed. Both these letters are considered to be liquids. So instead of sagal, we have sagar. And sagar means to close. Genesis 2, 21. And Yahweh God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Uh, along with Noah in Genesis 7:16, And they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him, and Yahweh shut him in. He sagard the, the uh, ark. In Numbers 12:15. And Miriam was shut out from the camp seven days, and the people journeyed not till Miriam was brought in again. Remember, uh, Miriam and Aaron had spoken against Moses, and she was afflicted with what is called leprosy, the skin disease, and so she had to be put out of the camp. She was shut out. The camp was closed to her. In Joshua 6.1, Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out, and none came in. So we see that verb root used twice in a row there to let you know that it was really, really closed up. Now there is something that is entirely closed up on the outside and we cannot see anything from the outside. But when we open it up, we find violet jewels. And in some cases, there are other colors also. But this is the concept of the geode. And to me, this represents one of the aspects of the people of God. You can see that the Father has a different attitude when he looks at us than the attitude of the world. 1 Samuel 16:7. But Yahweh said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For Yahweh seeth not as a man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but Yahweh looketh on the heart. And so he looks in to our hearts to see if we belong to him, if we are 
uh, trying to live a life that is pleasing to him. And it's just like the geode. The geode from the outside looks like nothing, but on the inside, there's a peculiar treasure that is hidden inside the rock. We also know that Proverbs 18.10, the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Isaiah 26.20, Come, my people, enter into thy inner chambers, and shut thy doors behind thee. Hide thyself shortly a moment, till the indignation pass over. And many other places we are given these clues that we can hide inside uh, our God, Yahweh our God, and be safe in that place, that we should abide in him. And so this is the picture of the geode. That is the last color of the traditional rainbow. Uh, next time in the next lesson, we will go on to some of the physics, uh, the implications of the physics of the rainbow. In the meantime, tasimitainayim al keep your eyes on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.